If you like patina fox bodies, well, I've got the king of them right here on the channel today. And guess what, guys? It's Pro Charge. Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt. And guys, we are still at Foxtoberfest 2022, but the show is basically wrapped up and I had to do one more video. What we're gonna talk about today is really a unique car. I saw this first back in 2018, four years ago, and I said it was my favorite car at the time. My YouTube channel was small. I'm just gonna run that clip here real quick. I found my favorite Fox body here already. Not gonna believe it how good it looks. Take a look at this. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Oh, it says the Fox cast on it too. Check that out. Outlaw Mustangs. I love it. Lowered. Yeah, this thing's sweet. But yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about it. I'm gonna bring the owner in through, of course, the magic of YouTube editing. Boom, Tim, here you are through the power of YouTube. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Good, so thanks for being here on the channel. We've been friends a little while now, like four, four years. years. Yeah, you also work on Fox Bodies too, right? I, I tend to, yeah. Yes, yes, you had just Small done, hat. her name is Boomerang Stang, and you had just done her car. You had just kind of put the engine in it and all that? Frame rails, engine, interior stuff, heater box, you yeah. name it, we took it apart. You made her happy is what you did. Surprised her with it four yeah. years ago. And so Foxtoberfest though, what, this is your sixth one? I think so, yeah. Wow. And driven what? from Pennsylvania every year. Yeah, because you love him up there. He can he can come to Chocolate Fox just a little bit. Brother, he's been there before. You were yeah, the first one. First one. And what happened today? You brought something, you're bringing something home. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's grab it. You got in the car? Yeah. Guys, he actually won an award. It was a brand new category. You were the inaugural award winner. Of best patina. So. That's why I said it was the best patina <laughs> in the intro. See, you can't, that's a nice award actually. It is. There you go, man. Yes. Well, that's why I love it because I love patina cars actually. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do in my cook, you know? Yes. How did this one sort of end up like this? Well, you know what I should do? I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around it and then we're gonna have them answer that question. I saw the Captain America shield in the back. So is that kind of the name for the car? It was a joke. Okay. A friend of ours has a 14 that's got to have a green and he calls it Hulk. Hulk, yeah. We were harassing him. And I said, who am I, Captain America? And they were like, yes, yes. Yes, you are. are. I mean, it's red, white, and blue. Yeah, and the stripes on the back. How did it get yeah, to this, this point? point? Yeah. There was a twin to this car, but obviously. Oh. And I mean, exactly obviously. Now, what year is it too? I forgot to ask that. 89. 89. It's early 89 because it's not a 2015 anniversary. It's not a GT. This is not a GT. Wait yeah. a second now. Hold on. Look at this, guys. I mean, I had a Cobra bumper and a sling wing, but it's not a GT. It's not a GT. Is it a four-cylinder? No. It? <laughs> it's a it's an original Scarlet Red, red interior, 89 5-speed, 5.0 LX. And the only reason it that way, I bought an 89 blue GT. I mean, opposite to the T of this one. It had been hit in the front. Somebody poorly fixed it. One of my best friends bought this red car. It was pretty rough, ragged, but 70,000 mile LX, no motor in it, but the interior was beautiful. And we, we traded gray tweed blue card for the red body with the red interior. And then I put all the stuff on it off my GT. You did a straight up trade? Straight up trade. Wow. Why, you just wanted the red or? The car was never wrecked. Now looking back, it was very fixable. Uh, easily fixed. Well, you've really improved your skills since then. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah, how long have you owned this one? Since right. 2005. Okay, okay, so that's when you got it. How did it get to this point? Front bumper on the blue car, the paint was all gone off the bottom of it. What we did when we traded, all the LX stuff went on the blue car, and all the my stuff off the GT went yeah. on this one. Okay. So they were twins, but opposite. So it was a gray interior sunroof LX that was red in the front, blue in the back and this one was red in the back blue in the front red interior they were both lx hatches but you also had a gt in there or the blue yeah. one was a gt the blue one was originally a gt okay i had bought a blue gt 89 automatic sunroof car that was actually really nice looking and that was one that ended up in a wreck it was bumped at one time in okay. the front and the wheel was shoved back on the passenger side when i got messing with the car i could notice it so okay 
we just swapped bodies. Actually, I do want to show them that interior. Before we show you the Pro Charger, let's show you the interior real quick. But yeah, look at the interior now. Has the interior, how long has the interior been like this, Tim? Because it's, these seats are uh, nice. Door panels. The interior is 12 years old. The door panels are actually original to the car other than the white. And so you inserted this part as well, probably? Yeah, the Tweed is, that's a 69 Mustang horse. Oh, um, nice. Like a, there's there's old school stuff but in the like on this car there. so it was a, a lx red interior red tweed red tweed. lx those are the original seats but they've been recovered yeah. okay is it tmi upholstery that is one of the first few sets of tmi ever made that yeah it has a very 60 styling to me that's what it reminds me of by the way he did support guys i sold out of shirts thanks <laughs> thanks for that fire extinguisher much like me we made this into the gt because yes. the other one's a little bumped up we got the nice red interior, and then what was the paint like at that point? There was a primer spot on the passenger side where the car had, it has, does have a dent in it, but it was bumped there. The blue was nice, it was just blue. So it's where you see the blue now, but like actually nice, not patinaed yeah, out. Yeah, not patinaed out at yeah. all. It had blue ground effects at that point in time, and okay. a little GT bumper. It had cheese graters in it. It did have the cheese graters, yeah, because now you got Cobra tail lights or basically SVO tail lights. They're custom, I did it myself. Did you? They're painted. I was sick of the stripes coming off of them. Yep, that's what happens on mine. They're but stickers. A, an SVO ends here where I did this. Mm -hmm. I just added, it's just something little. I mean, little, little tweak. tweak. It was red like, red like this was the hatch blue back then too? The hatch is off the GT. So okay. It's, it's blue. Anything you see blue guys came from and, the blue GT. Yes. And, and, and the red's original paint to the red car. So. Okay. So actually that's pretty cool. It was basically blue and red. <laughs> yeah. So how did everybody else feel about your blue and red? Car. A lot of people liked it, but I got razzed a lot about it. Really? Yeah, it ended up all flat black. So you caved to the peer pressure? I caved to the peer pressure. It started out as I just painted the red black. Okay. And then I just went overboard and kept going. And you drove it like that for a while, but you, you hated it, you said, right? I did. I hated it black. It just wasn't, it wasn't the same. It, yeah. And, you know, it took the easy way out, yeah. I guess. And there's a real personal attachment. What's, the, what's sort of the personal attachment with it? Because now, you know, you had a blue and red, people gave you crap, you ended up with black. You said something about a magazine. Well, my dad had passed away in 06. Okay. I got it's it, always tough. got it in my head that I wanted to get it in a magazine. The Mach 1 wheels came on at first. I yeah. wanted to do that. Yeah, because I noticed it has kind of a Mach 1 theme with the hood and everything, but... Uh, yeah, the, the hood was a joke. The same person harassed me enough to make it black. When I put the wheels on it, I was going to buy an 04 Mach 1 in 2003. New this Edge. This car ran like an 04 Mach 1 in 2004 with the way it is. Well, the way it was. So I bought these wheels and I five lugged it. Is that when you did Cobra Brakes too on it? I noticed it. Not or, initially. Okay. Before it came back out, it already had one. Okay. And those are Mach 1 brakes. They're not Cobra brakes. Oh, these are Mach 1 brakes. Okay. Which are, they're the same thing. It's Right. They're they similar. They don't have the Cobra on it. We were sitting there in the garage and he looked... He just kind of jokingly, as a joke to me, like, you need to put a shaker on that car. <laughs> and I went, yes, I do. <laughs> then the madness started. So that shaker's been built for that car since about 2006. It was sanded. The door was straightened out a little bit. That's why that primer's there. It was getting ready for body work to be painted all white. It was going to be white car, kind of an SAAC stripe down the side, but it's going to stop at the fender like a 69 Mach 1, a red stripe on it. And I was going for that whole, like, what would they do if they built a Mach 1 out of a Fox body? A lot of cues, like the twist locks out of a 70. Yeah, right up here, guys. Yeah, I mean, even like I said, the interior, the way the seats are, reminds me more of that, that era. Did the patina come then from the fact that it was all painted flat black and then you sort of just sanded it down? Is that how we got here? It got, that was part of it. I sanded it down and we lost the garage that we were renting. So it ended up coming outside and it didn't have any of the gray primer on it. That got put on in the rain, or snow actually, because it was sitting outside and we had to cover the bare metal. So we did that in the snow, just put something on it, but it sat six years in my buddy's woods. The elements were not kind. <laughs> it, it didn't hurt it, but it, it just sat out there and it's gonna, it's gonna get worse. Yeah. And then in 2015, it was, I wanna drive it. We just pulled it out. I went out and put a battery in it actually started it and drove it out of the woods. Nice. And I was clean. It was moldy. I was cleaning it with a Scotch Brite Karma. That back bumper I bought at a swap meet. Cobra bumper. It's a real one. It's a real Cobra bumper. Oh, that's awesome. It was all black. In the rain with Karma and Scotch Brite, I'm cleaning it, and all of a sudden these stripes started to appear. And that was what was <laughs> under the black. Oh, man. 
and look I, at that i actually stopped and i was like whoa and i got my buddy jr and i said dude slim you got to come look at this and he comes walking around the car and goes that's perfect and i'm like i agree <laughs> <laughs> like it's been a little loud. I agree. JR actually cleared it the first time and it's got shinier since 2015. It okay. used to be real semi gloss. It's, yeah. It's, so it's been whole all clear coated. It's all clear coated except for the wing. The wing as you can see was copper. I don't know if I can detect that, but I can see it there right now. When we cleared the car, the copper wing just didn't work. No. So one night we went in there, painted this red. The next night I came in, the next day and I spray painted the whole thing black and I sanded it. But the wing is the single stage, so the black comes off. But okay. I mean, that's adding to it every time yeah, it comes off was, a little bit. That's the only thing I, I purposely did. Okay. Was that. The rest of it sort of happened. The rest <laughs> of it is the car just wanted to be that. It's sort of a mind of its own, yeah. right? Yeah. And, uh, and what about this? Like, you probably had this all the way across. Did you per do the red here? No, it was that was what was under the black. That was what was under the black. Yeah. Wow. This I did nothing to this. The black is what was on top. This is what wow. is there. That's so perfect. So it was a random bumper that I bought at a swap meet, and that's what it's done. And there you go. Well, you know what we got to do. Yeah. Guys, I'm convinced this hood, this engine does not want to be shown. Can we try it one more time, Tim? All right. He doesn't like to show his engine because it's not a modular motor, okay? There we go. Old school push rod. We got a pro charger. Yes. How much boost do we got? You know, have any Six idea? Six pound, actually. Six it, pound. That is a P600. That's one of their original style pro chargers it's not a crazy horsepower car i just recently redid all this so this, okay this engine is out of my i had an orange gt this is the bottom end out of it but the okay. head's off of this car so we got a what are we looking at i see a gt40 tubular intake yes and it's 42 pound ford injectors okay which you need for the pro charger obviously uh, yes it's a f cam F cam. Old letter cam. Wow. Yeah. Alphabet cam. It used to have an E in it. It's just stuff I had. It's not stuff that <laughs> I went out and bought. It's yeah. stuff I had. It's got one six rockers on. Yeah, one six roller rockers. Big What's the head? Is it? It's yeah. not still a stock head, is it? Yeah, it's a GT40. Try the tri bar. bar. Yep, three bar heads. Ported. It's really nothing. It's a great drive. AC works. Cruise control works. There you go. You got your EGR delete on. It's your basic 302. It's still 302? 302. Okay. It is an honest 302 too. Yeah. It's not a 306. Okay. It's just, anymore, it's kind of embarrassing to say what it is, but it's 350 horsepower to rear tires. I mean, I'm sitting over there in my blue car 287. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, for me, it's better. Yeah, that was on a Mustang dyno. So okay. They dyno a little lower than Did they tune dyno. it or is it? It's just, tuned. For it is the tuned. Supercharger. Yeah, I see. I saw SCT here, so I'm guessing SCT chip. Yes. Funny thing, when I got it from the dyno, it was flinging the belt at 5,500 RPM. Because <laughs> the supercharger was just a little off. So it, 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 it probably makes more of them. A little bit. Yeah. Higher RPM. On the way home, and I was told by Rotahaver, Rotahaver's performance to watch it flings the belt. Well, on the way home, I had a stoplight and a Civic pulled up with, you know, side exit fender. Ying, ying. <laughs> started, and it was be responsible or pride, and I took pride over responsibility. Uh-oh. And I was far enough ahead of him that it flung the belt, he gave up by then. Oh, okay. The car drove home without the supercharger belt, and it drove just like it did with the supercharger on it. It never missed a beat. It drove wow. like a normal car. So now, how about this Ram Air intake like that? That's old school. I haven't seen that. Could you get that for the Foxes back then? No, that's all new stuff. That's, that's Custom? A, that's 04 Mach 1. Stuff. Okay, so you made it fit somehow. Yeah. And you had to cut the hood. Now, what kind of hood is this, actually? What style did it start as? Because all right 95 cobra r okay there you go and it's got a modular motor we confirm that <laughs> do you think about your dad whenever you drive it and stuff when i talk about that stuff. yeah funny thing with this car wanting to get in the magazine i had big dreams i mean if you look at little things with this and this is early 06 because they didn't make a lot like they made stuff like they didn't but i bought polished strikers there was just a lot of like stuff that i was buying it's got real saline pedals look at the pedal covers guys Real Celine. I didn't know they were real Celine. I thought they were repops. No, but. but the car has done everything I wanted it to do its own way. And it's weird saying it that way, but. I mean, but clearly, yeah, it, it really has. I can't believe the bumper. That's crazy that it came out like yeah, that, dude. The thing has suffered three deer hits since 2015. The mirror's been taken off. This marker light was destroyed, and they don't, yep. you can't buy these headlights anymore. Yeah. Well, you even had that down here. You hit, you hit something down here and busted out a fog light. Yeah, we hit a, a tire off the tractor trailer yeah. truck. That was just 
Anything just else? a little ding. End of 2018, I hit a deer pretty hard, broke the hood. That's when the front end got pulled off and all this got painted and redone. And then the hood was the first time painted in 2019. Yeah. Was, nobody notices from the old photos till now, the hood wasn't painted, it was primer. I hand laid that stripe twice now. Did you? Yeah. I mean, it looks great. That's, there's no pattern to that. That's, that's my own out of my head, how I want it to look. I mean, it's unique, there will never be there, there'll never one. be no one. No, yeah. not even close. even if someone watched this video, <laughs> they can't make the bumper do that. Okay, there's it can't be the same way. It's an organic type of yeah. car. It's it's not fake patina. It's not wrapped. It's yeah. all it earned it. It probably has a pretty long story, especially knowing what it looked like when we got it. All right, guys. One thing we got to do is listen to that 302 Flowmaster still. No, it's a whole Mac. Setup. A Mac. I love how the Mac sounds. Let's hear it. <laughs> Civic didn't know what was gonna hit him, did he? <laughs> the other thing, guys, I've been trying to get him to do this video for a long time. What's funny about it is I had a GoPro 8 back then, which has bad audio, and now we're back to the, uh, the my 10 and battery ran out, so I guess this car wanted the 8 to do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all that vintage stuff. Exactly. Tim, thank you for doing the video, man. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. And guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing this special patina, best patina out there winner. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, Please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. And that's a wrap for Foxtoberfest. We'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. Hey, man. How you doing? Hey, good. Good to see you. Good to see you as well, man. You in the YouTube bloopers? <laughs> good to see you guys. See, it's uh, it's like I'm hanging out with a celebrity here. They're all waving at you, Tim. <laughs> I think it's the opposite way around. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> so I had to find one. my hero. Yes, that's my hero. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Bye, Lance. You know what's funny?